The Connection Machine System is a data parallel supercomputer. It utilizes 64,000 processors, which are configured to match the data structures of supercomputing applications. The system's architects started their thinking with data. Data in the form of words. Data in the form of numbers. Data in the form of pictures. And the data that encodes physical phenomena for use in computer simulation. Many of these data sets are inherently parallel. We designed our computer to take advantage of this fact and to operate on all the data at once. A simulated physical structure, for example, may be made up of many thousands of grid blocks of data. When stress is applied, its effects must be calculated at every one of those grid blocks. The appropriate differential function is applied and applied again until the new equilibrium of forces is found. The most natural way to perform this simulation is to evaluate the function at every grid block at once. Similarly, the fastest way to search a database is to inspect tens of thousands of documents at once. For pictorial data, operating one pixel of data at a time can be very time consuming. Computing on all the pixels at once is a more natural approach. Numeric problems are among the most data intensive. In this example, the computer is being used to simulate wave behavior. A discretized version of the wave equation is calculated at all the grid points at once. The equation causes wave energy at individual grid points to be passed to adjacent grid points at successive time steps. Data parallel computing performs these simulations in a very natural way by assigning a processing element to every element of data. The connection machine system is a data parallel computer designed specifically for data intensive applications. Unlike the connection machine architecture, the conventional von Neumann computer design separates its processing elements from the memory. Control parallel computers extend this architecture to systems with several or several dozen processors. These systems are called control parallel because they seek to exploit parallelism in the control sequence or program. While control parallel computers associate processors with elements of program, data parallel computers, like the connection machine, associate processors directly with elements of data. A connection machine system has 64,000 processors. Communications among processors is supported in hardware by the connection machine router. Linkages reconfigure dynamically to match the underlying data topology. The connection machine system is easy to program because users operate in a familiar front-end environment, such as a VAX or a workstation. A single connection machine may have up to four front ends, which share the resource among themselves. Each can utilize a section, or some can temporarily detach to allow others access to greater resources. Users at detached front ends may continue their program development independently. Applications store their data directly in connection machine memory. A single Fortran or C command adds the whole arrays A and B. and stores the result in C. The connection machine router allows processors to intercommunicate at three gigabits per second. All processors exchange data in parallel. The communications pattern is dynamically reconfigurable, changing to meet the shape of the data structure. The general communications network allows detailed information to be rearranged according to the needs of the computation. Data parallel computers are well suited to physical simulations such as fluid flow or the propagation of waves. Wave behavior is described by a partial differential equation, the wave equation. A common way of discretizing this equation is with a second order finite difference lattice, which calculates the values of wave energy at individual points in the medium. 
The values at individual points are dependent upon the value at the previous time steps and the values at neighboring points. Hence, the equation may be rearranged into its geometric form. Every grid point in parallel accesses data from neighboring grid points and uses it to update its own status. In these examples, the communication patterns were very simple. Real applications involve much more complex communications. Typically, they involve larger numbers of processors as well. Connection machine virtual processing allows each physical processor to operate as many virtual processors, each with a smaller memory. Operating with 500,000 virtual processors, the connection machine system extends traditional seismic processing methods into the realm of full elastic wave equation modeling and runs at a sustained rate of two gigaflops. Fluid flow visualization is still another fundamentally parallel application. The dye traces, which appear continuous, are actually made up of millions of individual particles, each moving to their new positions in parallel. For a system with 50,000 visualization particles, the connection machine sustains a video rate of 10 frames per second. Molecular dynamics applications compute the simultaneous motion of thousands of atoms. Data parallel computers assign a processor to each particle or each interaction and carry out the computations in parallel. The connection machine models molecular systems with as many as 16,000 particles. In document retrieval applications, the connection machine system searches tens of thousands of documents at once. To match the system's performance, a traditional serial computer would have to operate above 6,000 MIPS. These are just a few examples of supercomputer applications that are deeply and fundamentally parallel. Now, for the first time, these applications have a computing environment that matches their inherent parallelism exactly the data parallel architecture of the connection machine supercomputer.